All right, guys, so today we're working on a service call at a high school theater. The complaint was, or is, that the house lights won't turn off. So this is my theater with full house lights on right now. If we go to our touch panel. We go to house off. Close that up. You can see some of the lights are indeed staying on. And um, I had a pretty good idea about what was going on here, but I'm going to take you through and show you what I found. So these high up mounted lights are incandescent, and then these low mounted ones here, here, and back there are LED. So just keep that in mind. Then I'll uh, take you into the dimmer room and show what's going on. All right, guys, we're here in the dimmer room of this theater. We got two ETC sensor three racks, Hox Bay with 800 amp disconnect, transformer, and then we got our EBDK, emergency bypass detection kit, and our transfer switch right here. And if you see right here, it says we're in emergency mode and the fire alarm light is lit up. And um, what that means on this particular system is that on this terminal right here that says fire alarm, it is receiving a signal to transfer from normal power to emergency power through these contactors. Now normally that's only supposed to happen when the power goes out. So you have some, so in case there's ever a power outage during a performance or something like that, um, the lights come on and you have time to evacuate the building. Uh, in this case, we are not actually hooked up to the fire alarm system. We are hooked up to this guy here, this emergency bypass detection kit. So basically what this is doing is it, it is looking to see if the main power has been lost or not. And you see these conduits over here. One of these is a tap into the main bus bars of the sensor rack. So the way it works is if that loses power, it senses that, it puts out that signal, it's just an open or closed signal, to the fire alarm contacts here. And then I'll have to show you the other piece of equipment that this goes to later. But it's a, um, it's a controller for the LED house lights. So since the house lights are controlled by DMX, um, if you just applied vol full voltage to them, they wouldn't know what to do. So it sends a signal out to give it full DMX, full on signal. So this is feeding signal to that, our transfer switch, and our racks over here. You can see it says panic active. We obviously still have bu main building power. So uh, let me get these covers off real quick and I'll show you what's going on here. All right guys, so here's inside our EBDK. You can see we got our power input here and to the transfer switch. Um, so here is my, uh, or this is the uh, control board for everything. These are my uh, panic signal wires. So these go to the dimmer racks, the transfer switch, and the uh, DM DBC, the DMX emergency bypass controller upstairs. Um, and I did already speak on the phone with ETC about this problem and they had me run, run some tests. Basically we determined that this relay right here, switching relay, is faulty. So it's just giving a faulty signal to the uh, transfer switch and everything else. So what I'm going to do is just replace this little control board right here. Go ahead and kill our power to it. And um, I'll go ahead and get these wires off and we'll put the new one in there. And then we'll see what happens and go from there. All right, guys, we've got the new board installed. Go ahead and power it on. So you can hear that relay clicked. And then our panic signal is no longer active. So you should see this flip over into a no normal mode after about 30 seconds. So that should hopefully take care of our issue. See, it no longer says panic on our racks, so that's a good sign. And our 
transfer switch just clicked back into normal mode. So that's good. And um, with the old board, if I reset that breaker, it would stay in normal mode for like 30 seconds and then it would trip back over again. So something was internally faulted with it. So we just decided the easiest thing to do was just replace that little control board right there. But um, yeah, looks like that solved our problem. So let me get this button back up, back up and then we'll uh, go back into the theater and take a look at what things are doing out there. All right, so here we are back in the theater. Got full house lights. And if we go to our entry station, we can see everything dims off successfully now. So one more thing I'm going to show you is what the um, bypass control or the DMX bypass controller looks like upstairs. So we'll go up there real quick. So right here is what that bypass controller looks like. So this um, is what sends a signal, full DMX signal, to the LED house lights if they are um, needed in emergency mode. A little test switch right here. So now they're all on, now they're all off. So this is the other device that receives a panic signal from that EVDK when stuff goes into emergency mode. All right, so that was just a quick repair on a ETC EVDK that wasn't switching right. We just replaced the main control board on it, and it's all back and working normally now. All right, guys, so uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more, and I'll catch you on the next one.